something's going on. That's right, Janetta. The rain has moved in. You just showed us the radar, and the first squall has moved in off the uh, bay and the sound. Behind me is near uh, Nantucket Sound, and beyond that, you can see the waves crashing out there on the horizon, and you can see some of those birds heading. Braves players, they're being forced to suffer through cold, wet, miserable weather on that cement island known as New York. I bet they're sorry they scored those 32 runs now. Game one of the World Series officially postponed seven hours before the first pitch was to be thrown. A deluge hit Yankee Stadium, and yet game one starter Andy Pettit still met with the media. There's Andy. Obviously, they forgot to tell him they moved the press conference inside. Get dry, Andy. Game one now scheduled for tomorrow night. All right. Thanks, Mike. And, of course, you'll let us know next half hour if that sleet has gotten there or not. Well, we'll hear it bouncing off my head. <laughs> okay, because it's empty. No, just kidding, Mike. <laughs> we'll check back with you later, what? Mikey. All righty. Well, we are looking at this upper level system right here. And a sunny, cold Monday as we uh, head back to work and school in Boston on Monday. Melissa, the worst is over, at least as... Whoa! God. God. Well, just when you thought the worst was over, I didn't see the curb, and that's what happens when you have these big snow piles. There's a lesson. Be careful when you're walking off these curbs. You may not see them because they're covered in snow. Back to you. Hi, Christina. And tonight we're concerned about more power outages. And speaking of power outages, our power just went out. I think we may have to go back to Atlanta because it is. All right. Well, we now want to, uh, again, take a look at what's going on across the Northeast. 